All right, I'm excited about our medication today because we are going to talk about albuterol. I'm excited for a couple reasons. Number one, you're going to see this medication given a lot during your nursing career. This is given to so many patients in the hospital that it's just it's something you're going to see every single day. Its trade name is Proventil. All right, so let me tell you the two. Well, first of all, let me tell you why it's given. Well, it's a bronchodilator that it's given to prevent airway obstruction in both asthma and COPD. All right, now let me tell you the second reason why I'm incredibly excited about this medication. Because the way that it works is it binds to our beta-2 adrenergic receptors in our airway, in our trachea. And what that does is it leads to relaxation of the smooth muscles of the airway, making it easier for our patient with asthma or COPD to actually breathe. Okay, so when we talk about this, we're talking about our flight or flight symptoms, right? Our fight, fight or flight system. And what this does, it actually works to help with that that fighting response, okay? That fight or flight response, what it does is it, it opens up our airway, makes it easier for us to breathe so that we can, get, we can get the heck out of there, we can start fighting, you know, it makes us ready for the fight, okay? So that's how you need to think about it. So on in contrast, the other thing that we can talk about here is we can talk about our beta blockers. So your beta blockers are doing the exact opposite. They're going to try to constrict that airway. This really has the exact opposite effect. On our, along our trachea, in our lungs, we have beta receptors. We have beta-2 adrenergic receptors, okay? Within our heart, we have beta-1 receptors, okay? So the easy way to think about that is we have one heart, beta-1 receptors in the heart. We have two lungs, beta-2 receptors in the lungs. So the way albuterol works, it actually goes to those beta-2 adrenergic receptor sites, and it stimulates them, okay? It, it's an agonist, okay? It agonizes them, and it gets them working and, and, and being effective, and so... By doing that, it causes them to dilate, okay? It's going to cause our airway to relax and make it easier for these patients to breathe. So its therapeutic class is bronchodilator. Its pharmacologic class is adrenergic agonist, okay? So I want to make sure that's really straight right there. So albuterol is going to really do the exact opposite of a beta blocker, okay? Your metoprolol or something like that. I think a lot of people can get confused with this because albuterol ends in OL. But remember, our beta blockers are going to end in OL, OL, metoprolol, for example. Don't get confused with that. Realize that this does the exact opposite of that. And so with that in mind, one thing I want you to realize is that albuterol can actually decrease the effectiveness of your metoprolol, of your beta blocker. Okay, so you have a patient who's all of a sudden their heart rate jumps to 150, uh, you know, and they have a, well, let's say they have a PRN dose of metoprolol for heart rate greater than 120. You run to the cabinet, you get that metoprolol, the five milligrams or whatever, you push it IV, and their heart rate starts to come down, but hey, here comes the respiratory therapist. They're ready to give their uh, albuterol treatment, their breathing treatment. Well, best thing you could do is tell that, that RT that, you know, we're actually dealing with kind of a cardiac issue. We just gave a beta blocker. I don't want to counteract what I just did to try to bring that heart rate down, that SVT or whatever was going on. And so let's kind of hold off on the albuterol. They're breathing really good now. Let me call you in just a little bit once that albuterol or once that metoprolol has had time to take effect. Okay, does that make sense? So metoprolol goes in. And it blocks that, okay, where our albuterol goes in there and it tries to get that going, okay? So a couple things to keep in mind. Like I said, it can decrease the effectiveness of our beta blockers. Uh, it can. So and another thing too, patients who use inhalers too much, an inhaler, that can actually lead to bronchospasm, which would be just the exact opposite of what we're trying to do with our with our albuterol, okay? So our beta our beta. Uh, to an adrenergic receptor agonist, okay? So we really don't want our patients overusing their inhaler because that can lead to a bronchospasm and then cut off their ability to breathe. Make sure you teach your patients that. Uh, make sure you teach your patients um, to monitor for any chest pain or palpitations. Remember, we're, we're getting, we're stimulating those receptors, okay? So this we could develop palpitations. Mostly this albuterol, though, is going to work on your beta-2 receptors, which are in your lungs, but it could have some effect on your beta-1 within your heart, leading to these palpitations, okay? So we want to monitor our chest pain, monitor our, our palpitations. A couple things to keep in mind is we want to use caution with heart disease, diabetes, glaucoma, seizure disorder. But the biggest things I want you to keep in mind are why are we giving this, okay? Because that's what you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know you're giving this for asthma, COPD. We're trying to open up those airways, allow them to breathe better, and we want to use caution with our beta blockers, okay? Exact opposite effect. And that's really what you need to know about albuterol. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast. Brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, 
head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing.